Come on, put your hands together. Come on, put your hands together. That is why my heart is filled with praise. I love you. I love you. I love the Lord today. Why? Because you cared for me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to God in a very, very special way. Hallelujah to God. We bring you greetings from Community Refuge Church of Christ. Here in Manalapan, New Jersey, hallelujah. Glory to God. We will believe that prayer, hallelujah, will change everything. Prayer will move mountains, hallelujah. Prayer will heal diseases. Prayer will set you free, hallelujah. And hallelujah, we thank God, hallelujah, for giving us an opportunity to come into your house today. Hallelujah. We give God the praise today for what he is doing in our lives, what he's about to do, hallelujah, in the name of the Lord. Are you glad about it? Are you glad to be in the number this morning? Are you glad that God woke you up in your right mind this morning? The activities of your limbs this morning, the blood running warm in your veins. Are you glad about it? Hallelujah to God. Then you ought to show some sign. You ought to show some praise. You ought to give God glory. You ought to give God glory. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. That you're not on the cooling board this morning. Hallelujah. But you're in God's house. Hallelujah. And for that, we ought to give God praise. Hallelujah. For he's been so good. Has he been good to you? He's been so good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to God. We thank and praise God. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to give God some more praise. Now, you notice how I said some more praise. Hallelujah, because you ought to be praising right now. Every day, every time you wake up, you ought to praise him. Every time you go to sleep, you ought to praise him. Every time you walk in, you ought to praise him. Hallelujah. So I come to give him more praise. Hallelujah. Today. Hallelujah. For the things he's done this week. For how he's blessed me. Hallelujah, and how he has blessed you. Yes, hallelujah. We thank God for all things. Hallelujah. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Hallelujah. To give God more praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So we're going to receive, hallelujah, our deacon Fitzpatrick, and he's going to come and bless us. So God, lead us in prayer, and then he's going to go right into praise and worship in the name of the Lord. Is that all right? Come on, put your hands together. Give God glory. Lord, everybody, hallelujah, we're grateful to God, amen, to be in this place one more time, amen, we're going to invite everyone to stand as we prepare to pray, amen, the song says, Jesus, you are the center of my joy, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, and all that's good and perfect comes from you. the heart of my my contentment you are the hope for all I do Jesus you're the center of my joy come on y'all everybody sing oh Jesus you're the center of my Joy. And all that's good and perfect comes from you. Oh, and I know that you're the heart, and you're the heart of my contentment. You're the hope for all I do. You are, you are the center of my joy. Oh, Jesus, you are the center of my joy. Oh, my joy. Center. The center. Yes, 
and for your mercy, for your goodness, Lord, we say thank you. We thank you, oh God, for this day. We thank you for another opportunity. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your compassion. We thank you for the Holy Ghost abiding on the inside. We thank you, oh Lord, for another opportunity, for another chance. We say thank you for help and strength for our right mind. We say thank you for a shelter over our head, a home, hallelujah, a bed to lie on. We say thank you for running water. Thank you, Lord Jesus, hallelujah. We thank you, oh God, for your word that keeps us. We thank you, oh Lord, for all of those who have gathered today, oh God, to worship you, to call upon you, oh Lord. Hallelujah, we all have needs, we all have things, oh God, that are going on and we know that you are the way maker. You know that we, you are, oh God, a provider and that you can do, hallelujah, all things, oh God, help us, Lord, strengthen our faith, oh God. Help us to believe you in the difficult times. Help us to rely on you, oh God, in the tough times. Help us, oh God, to give everything to you, oh Lord, because we know that you're able, oh God. Remember every family, remember every home. Touch in the name of Jesus. Lord God, everyone, oh Lord, touch minds and hearts. Someone needs to know you, oh God, in a greater way. Someone needs to feel your touch. Someone needs, oh God, healing in the name of Jesus. Someone needs deliverance right now and we ask you oh God to meet that need in the name of Jesus go into the hospitals into the prisons oh Lord touch right now in the name of Jesus hallelujah touch a marriage somewhere oh God children somewhere who need you oh God hallelujah we give it all unto you oh Lord bless this place of worship oh Lord on today hallelujah visit us in a special way hallelujah Oh, God, someone needs to feel you, Lord. Save someone. Pour out your Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, bless the word of God. Touch the man of God on this day. In the name of Jesus, oh, Lord, we know you are able. Oh, God, every special request, those unspoken words, oh, Lord, you know the desires of the heart, oh, Lord, and we pray that you would give it to them. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, God, I give you glory and honor on today. I thank you, oh, Lord, because you've been so good to me. I thank you, oh, Lord, for every blessing in my life, oh, Lord. I praise you right now, hallelujah, because you've been good, oh, God. You've opened doors and you have provided, hallelujah. Even in this season, oh God, I trust you, oh Lord, right now, oh God, hallelujah. Help us to walk by faith and not by sight. Help us, Lord, not to lean on our own understanding, but to acknowledge you, oh Lord, in everything, hallelujah. In every way, oh God, guide us and direct us, Lord. Help us, Lord, to pray, oh Lord, and to seek your face, oh Lord, to hear your voice in every situation. Not my will, oh my will, but thy will be done in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, hallelujah. We trust you, Lord, in all things. Hallelujah. I thank you for all that you have done because you're proving yourself time and time again. Oh, God, comfort those who have lost loved ones. Speak to those family members, oh, God, who don't understand why. Lord, help them to know that you are a loving Savior. Oh, God, touch them right now and comfort them in their time of need. Lord, we know that you can and we know that you will. And we give you all the glory, oh God, because you've been faithful. We give you all the glory because you've been good to us. Hallelujah. We give you all the glory and the honor because you are God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Bless in Jesus' name. And we will give you all the glory and the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Song says, at the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light and the burdens of my heart rolled away. Oh, it was there by faith I received my sight and now I am happy all the day. Oh, at the cross, at the cross, where I first saw, oh, and the burden rolled away. Oh, it was there by faith I received my sight. Oh, and now I am happy all the day. Oh, it was at the cross, at the cross, where I first saw. Oh, when the burdens of my heart rolled away. Oh, it was there, my faith I received. Oh, yes, at 
Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, I thank you. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, God, I praise you. Oh, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to your name, oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Savior. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, you are good. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Lord, I praise you. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you. Oh, Lord, you are my shelter. Hallelujah. Thank you. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. And oh Lord, you are my shelter. Oh Lord, you are my shelter. You're my peace in the time of storm. You're my peace Hallelujah. In the time of storm. Oh Lord, you're my way maker. Oh Lord, you're my way maker. And I'll praise your name forevermore. I'll praise your name forevermore. Oh Lord, you are my you're my peace in the time of storm. Oh, my peace in the time of storm. Singing, oh Lord, you're my way maker. Oh, Lord, you're my way maker. And I'll praise your name forevermore. I'll praise your name forevermore. Singing, oh Lord, you are my shelter. Oh, Lord, you are my you're my peace in the time of storm. Hallelujah. And oh Lord, you're my way maker. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. And I'll praise your name forevermore. Yes, I will. Oh Lord, you are my shelter. Yes, Lord. You're my peace in the time of storm. Oh, my peace in the time of Singing, oh Lord, you're my way maker. Oh, Lord, yes, you are. Maker. And I'll praise your name forevermore. Yes, I will. Praise your name oh, forevermore. we sing, oh Lord, you are my shelter. Oh, Lord, yes, you are. Oh, you're my peace in the time of storm. Hallelujah. Oh, oh, Lord, you're my way maker. Oh, Lord, you're my way maker. And I'll praise the name forevermore. Yes, I will. And I will praise you. I will praise you. I'll praise you. I'll praise you. Hallelujah. Forevermore. Oh, I will praise you. Jesus. I'll praise you. Forevermore. Hallelujah. 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 Forevermore. Hallelujah. 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 Forevermore. And I will praise you. Jesus, I will praise you. Jesus, I will 
praise you. Yes, I will. I will praise you. Hallelujah. Forever. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. I will praise you. Forevermore. Put your hands together and give God the praise. Glory to God. Isn't God good? Isn't he good? I heard somebody say he's gooder than good. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. We thank and praise God for the praise team. At this time, we're going to have our scripture reading coming from Colossians the third chapter. We're going to ask everyone in the sanctuary, if you have your Bibles, amen, turn to you, turn to Colossians, the third chapter, and we're going to ask you to rest upon your feet as we give honor to God's word in Jesus' name. Let's see Sister Tucker at this time, in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, everybody. Coming from the King James Version, Colossians 3, Verses 9 through 16. Verses 9 through 16. And it reads, Lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds, and have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him, where there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcision nor uncircumcision, barbarian, Scythian, bond nor free, but Christ is all and in all. Put on, therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, bowels of mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long suffering, forbearing one another and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. And, and above all these things, put on charity, which is the bond of perfectness. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts. Let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to which also ye are called in one body, and be ye thankful. 
Last verse 16, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. Amen. May God add a blessing to the reading of his word. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I have just a few few announcements um, this morning. As we know we continue our, our fellowship each Tuesday, Tuesday evening. So join us on Zoom, Facebook Live, uh, 7 p.m., our fellowship this Tuesday with uh, Bishop Rubin. Next Sunday, we will resume our normal schedule. So we will have education hour next Sunday, next Sunday. 10.30 a.m. on Zoom, and our, edu our education hour, our instructor, sorry, for our education hour is our own sister Bullock will be our instructor next week. So join us, join us next, next Sunday for the uh, education hour at starting at 10.30 online, and we will follow with our morning worship at 11.30, Facebook Live, YouTube, again here if you're a local and you can please join us please join us here in the sanctuary next sunday next sunday 11:30 we are a church that believes in what prayer 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 in the power wonder working miracle working power of prayer we have a list we have a list we have a list it has been posted on our facebook page we ask that we continue to lift one another up and those that are on our list to continue to lift special prayers up for those of health reasons for those in bereavement and generally for um, those on our list amen 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 uh, i have a couple of other thank you cards to read. Um, the kindness of others is a genuine reflection of the kindness of God. To my church family, thank you for your love and support in the loss of my aunt. Thank you. Love always, Meredith Crawford and family. Amen, amen. Another card of thank you. The, excuse me. The kindness of others is a genuine reflection of the kindness of God. The Lord bless you because you have shown this kindness, which is 2 Samuel 2, verse 5. Thank you. We are beyond grateful for all the calls, cards, and visits. We could not have prayed for a more supportive church family. Love the Robinson, Stokes, and Goldborn family. Amen. Amen. All right. I believe that is it for announcements. And Elder, I believe Elder Tucker will be coming up next. <laughs> All right, Elder. Well, I'm, I'm ready for the word. Amen. <laughs> amen. Amen. I'm ready for the word. Amen. Are you ready for the word? Are you ready to hear what God has to say? Cash y'all a question. The question is, is there a word from the Lord? Is there a word from the Lord that will change the very fabric of your problem? The very thing that you're going through, God has a word for you. Amen. And we thank and praise God that our assistant pastor is here today and he's going to bless us. Amen. With the word of God. I'm excited. I'm always excited about the word. Amen. Hallelujah. And I'm so excited this morning because I know God is going to do something great in your life. In your life. All you have to do is what? You have to believe and believe in God. So at this time, we're going to ask you to, amen, receive our assistant pastor this morning as he comes and breaks the bread of life with us. Amen. And once again, we thank God for all those visitors that are here. We thank God for seeing Mother Williams. Amen. We thank you, praise God, for seeing everyone today. And we ask you to sit in prayer as the man of God comes at this time. Let's receive Elder Williams with a hearty amen. Come on, let's say amen again.
Praise the Lord, everybody. Somebody shout hallelujah. Lord, we thank you. Hallelujah. 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 I know Bishop always asks, does anybody need a miracle? But I'm convinced that there is a miracle here already. I'm convinced, I know shot us, that there is a miracle. Hallelujah. I'm convinced. Hallelujah. All you got to do is want it and be willing to reach for it because there is a miracle hallelujah 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 I'm so set for this new direction that God is doing that I'm convinced of his power, of his authority, of his direction. About a couple of weeks ago, and I'm going to get right into the word and get right out, but I don't want to Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Can we just give God a praise? Hallelujah. 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 Anybody ready for a new direction? Hallelujah. Anybody ready to see something else? To experience something else? Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to receive something else. And there's something we're about to see. I was saying a couple weeks ago, I was sitting on the bed watching a preaching video. And all of a sudden, it looked like somewhere over my door area, I could visualize it. I couldn't see it, but I know it was there. That there was an angelic portal of some sort appeared in the room. The reason I know where it was because that's the direction I was looking in. And the Lord spoke to me out of that 
portal or I don't know what to call it. Out of that presence, out of that appearing. He said to me, the heaven is open. The heaven is open. Hallelujah. When the words came to me, not really understanding really what he's all was saying, but the Holy Spirit joined that was in me joined in with the word that was spoken unto me, saying the heaven is open. The only revelation or understanding that I have is Old Testament. Is the Lord say, I will open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that there shall not be room enough to receive. And on night before last, we were preparing to sing. And as I was in the men's room, uh, standing at the sink, again, the Holy Spirit spoke to me. And he says, I'm getting ready to release glory into the earth. He, now, that's what he said. But the presence, I, I don't know how to explain it. But when I heard it, it's like I know what it meant. It meant, he's not talking about English town. He wasn't talking about the church where I was at. He wasn't talking about folk that I know. He says, I'm getting ready to release glory in the earth. In the earth. So something is getting ready to happen in the earth realm that the saints of God will be able to take part of. Hallelujah. I'm getting ready. to. Anybody ready for glory? Does anybody know what glory is? Anybody know what glory is? When, when God talks about glory, he talks about his presence, but he's talking about something he's getting ready to do. Because he can't get no glory unless he does something. Hallelujah. So he's getting ready to do something. That's why I'm saying there is a miracle in here. God is getting ready to do something. When he releases glory, you're going to see something. You're going to experience something. Something going to happen. Miracles are going to come. They're going to flow. Hallelujah. And he's getting ready to do it. Can we just give God a praise? And what I was about to say is that I, I'm, 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 not, I'm ready to go on from church as usual. I'm ready to go on. Hallelujah. I'm ready to go to the next level. I'm ready to see the next thing that God has in store. Hallelujah. I, 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 I've lived in what we've been doing for years. But I declare that God has more for us. He has more. Hallelujah. Can somebody just wave your hand? Hallelujah. And all that God is looking for, he's looking for a sign that you are listening, that you are hearing his word. Not only that, but that you are hearing the man of God. Hallelujah. When he speaks, if you give a sign, God will surely show up. Hallelujah. Now, y'all you, you, got to cannot see me. You can't see me because uh, uh, when Jesus came down here, he says, the words that I'm speaking, they're not mine. I'm speaking what the Father says. So, so you can't just be looking at the person. You got to hear by your spirit of discernment and hear your Father talking to you, saying that I'm getting ready to release something in your life. I'm getting ready to release something in your house. Hallelujah. I'm getting ready to move you to the next place, to the next level. Hallelujah. And so he gave me this word, and I've been looking at it from the book of Acts, the 12th chapter. Uh, looking at verse 1. Hmm. 
Hallelujah. And it reads, now about that time, Herod the king stretched forth his hands to vex certain of the church. And he killed James, the brother of John, with the sword. And because he saw it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also. Then there was the days of unleavened bread. And when he had apprehended him, he put him in prison and delivered him to four quaternions, quaternions of soldiers to keep him, intending after Easter, which is the Passover, to bring him forth to the people. Peter, therefore, was kept in prison, but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. And when Herod would have brought him forth, the same night Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains, and the keepers before the door kept the prison. And the angel of the Lord came upon him, and a light shined in the prison. And he smote Peter on the side and raised him up, saying, Arise up quickly. And his chains fell off from his hands, and the angel said unto him, Gird up thyself and bind up thy sandals. And so he did, and he said unto him, Cast thy garment about thee, and follow me. And he went out and followed and wist not that it was true which was done by the angel, but thought he saw a vision. Lord Jesus, we thank you right now for your word. We pray that you would make it plain, make it clear. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Topic, get ready to come out. Get ready to come out. Anybody ready to come out? Get ready to come out. Here is the story that we are familiar with. The story where Peter has been taken captive in prison. The Bible says to me that it was the time when the king decided that he would vex the church. I looked up that word, vexed. He decided that he would cause pain, cause difficulty, cause distress, cause trouble, to annoy, to irritate. He, he came to bring this kind of behavior upon the church. The Bible says that he killed James with the sword that was the brother of John. And this next verse says, because he saw that it pleased the Jews, that he went further to take Peter. And he went and he apprehended Peter. The Bible says, and that he put him in prison. The Bible says that he assigned to Peter four quaternion. I had to look that up too. Of soldiers for this one man. And as we kept reading the scripture, we found that Peter had a soldier on each side of him that was locked to him. Now, it seems to me, it seems to me that this situation is not ordinary. 
There are some things that you're going through that you're in the midst of. They are not ordinary. It is not ordinary. Somebody is orchestrating something that is going on because now you have captured, you killed one, you captured another one, and you signed four quaternions, meaning that was four of times four. A quaternion is four. So he, they assigned four quaternions. That's 16 soldiers. So somebody or some entity is determined to make sure you don't come out. come out. Somebody is, is designing a plan to make sure you don't get through this next thing that you're going through. One person, 16 soldiers, and two, one on each side. That's what? That's 18 folk, and you got them chained. Hallelujah. And you got guards outside the door of the prison. So it sounds like to me that there is an enemy that has come up against Peter because of the ministry. And they're trying to keep him quiet. Hallelujah. And he thinks that he has done enough, hallelujah, to make his plan happen. But I want to let you know that, that you got more that's on your side. You got God on your side. Hallelujah. And God don't have to come himself. All he got to do is send a servant. All he got to do is send an angel. Hallelujah. To deliver you. Now, I looked at this story. And they said that he captured him. Put him in prison. Got all the guard. They guarded him all up. Now my thing here is that how long were he up in there? How many days had to pass? Hallelujah. How long did he have to stay in that predicament? The Bible says that leads us to think that God sent help at the very nick of time. In other words, he had to wait all the way until the enemy is about to make his move. Hallelujah. Sometimes we got to stay put. Hallelujah. And go through. Hallelujah. Until God brings us out. Because he's not just dealing with you. He's dealing with your enemy. Hallelujah. He's trying to get not only you to see something, but he's trying to tell his enemy something. So now, he don't deliver him right away. He wait till Herod says, look, after the Passover... I'm going to bring him before the people. And he, he, he knows what's going to happen or he's assuming what's going to happen because they, it pleased the people that he killed James. So when he brings him before the people, he gonna, he's thinking that it's going to please them that we get rid of him too. So God is holding you, allowing you to go through this to pull your enemy in to show him you messing with the wrong person. You messing with the wrong one now. Hallelujah. The Bible says that, that while he was there the night before, the night, God, you had all these other nights. You could have come got me. But he says the night before, Herod would have brought him forth. 
He sends an angel to the prison. Hallelujah. He sends an angel to the prison. Hallelujah. The Bible says that the light shined in the prison because God has now sent help. Now this next part uh, also should speak to us. When the angel got there, he found Peter between two soldiers in chains. But he also found him sleep. How can you sleep when the enemy has got you all locked up and tied up? So Peter is trying to tell you and me, hallelujah, don't worry about what the enemy is doing. Shut Glory. It may look like you're going to be defeated, but you got to know within yourself that you got a God. You got to know within yourself that God going to take care of me. Peter knew it. And he fell asleep with 16 soldiers, some outside guard the door, one on each side of him, in chains, he falls asleep. Glory to God. All right. Why? Because Peter had seen enough of what God could do. Ain't no need of me worrying now. Hallelujah. Because the very thing that Herod was trying to do was falling apart. If he didn't do anything but have Peter all shook up, it would have worked. His plan would have worked. But he didn't even shake the man up. Hallelujah. He wasn't shook up. He was down there asleep. And the angel, the help that has to come deliver you, got to come in and wake you up. To get you out. The Bible says when he came in, that he smote Peter on the right side. Hallelujah. And said, get up. I'm reminded of the message last week. There is a connection. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Get up because you got to come out of where you are. Hallelujah. You got to come out from where you are. He smote Peter on the side and raised him up saying, arise up quickly. Hallelujah. You see, we got to learn how to follow instructions. God's going to do his job. He don't sit the angel and we have to learn how to follow the instructions. He says to him, uh, arise up quickly. Hallelujah. I come to tell you that when God speaks and when you hear his voice and when he gives you a word, when he tells you to get up, when he tells you to go, when he tells you to come out, when he tells you, hallelujah, to go this way or to go that way, when he gives you a plan, hallelujah, and a strategy, when he gives you all that, once he speaks it, once he speaks it, Everything that's going to come up against you will lose power. Did y'all hear what I'm saying? Peter did not speak to the chains. Rather, the angel did not speak to the chains. He spoke to Peter. Hallelujah. He spoke to Peter. He spoke to Peter like there was no soldiers. He spoke to Peter like there was no chains. 
The Bible says that when he spoke and he spoke to Peter and told him to get up, the chain heard him and, and fell off. Hallelujah. So I'm telling you, whatever's got you locked up, when God speak and give you direction, it's got to fall off. Whatever it is that's coming against you will not have the power nor the authority to affect you when God speaks. Hallelujah. When he speaks, it's all over. You may as well start shouting right then because the victory is yours. Not when you get out of the prison, but while you in the prison, while they got you locked up, you got the victory already. You got it. You got it. Because God don't have to wait for change. He don't have to wait for doors to open. When he speaks, it is so. It's done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When he speaks to you. Now I want you to notice the words that, that the angel said. Hallelujah. Let me, let me just make this clear. Hallelujah. The angel said, arise up quickly and the chains fell off. Y'all looking for some extraordinary, some words that sound good. Y'all looking for words from an, an, an orator. You know how they can speak to words. Peter, I say it unto thee. But rise up quickly. Had power enough to loose the chains. So what am I saying to you? I'm saying you're going to hear a common word. A common word. Go over there to sister so-and-so. A common word. You know what I'm talking about. Go over there. This lady need healing. Hallelujah. It was a common word. Hallelujah. It was a common word. You getting ready to hear a common word, but it's going to be so full of power. It's going to break your chains and loose the bands of the enemy. It's going to break the jackal. It's going to loose you. Hallelujah. You gonna know it. You gonna know it. The angel said unto him, Gird up thyself. Hallelujah. This is where you come in. Hallelujah. Get yourself ready to come out. I'm here to deliver you. I'm here to set you free. I'm here to break everything that's over you. I'm here, hallelujah, to bring you out. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. How am I sick? Get ready. Hallelujah. So he says, guard up yourself. Put your belt on. Hallelujah. Y'all know back in the day, they wore some garments that we don't wear today. Hallelujah. Usually when you talk about gird up, you, 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 it's the idea of those soldiers. Back in the Bible days, they, they wore what looked like skirts. So, you know, they was long and they was, they was hanging like somewhere right above the knee. And that was just regular, you know, when I'm not doing anything, you know, when I'm not in battle. But when I'm in battle, they took the center of that thing 
and put it tucked it in so it wouldn't be in the way and the legs are free now I can do so he tells Peter gird up yourself get ready put on your shoes see some of y'all ain't got your shoes on hallelujah you, you, you ain't got on your sandals why because you ain't ready you, 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 you don't know that you're getting ready to come out of somewhere Shut to my heart to go. My shot to my the word of the Lord says that have your feet what shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Shut. Do you got on your shoes this morning? Can you spit a word back to the enemy? Can you spit a word back to the enemy and tell him, Thus saith the Lord? Hallelujah. Can you give the enemy that this is what God says about me? I'm not listening to you. Why? Because my feet, they're shod with the preparation of the gospel. Good news of peace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you got to guard up yourself. Hallelujah. You got to gird up yourself. Bind on your sandals. Then he tell them to cast that garment about thee and follow me. Hallelujah. Anybody ready to follow him? Hallelujah. I heard your name. Hallelujah. Miracle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Miracle. Hallelujah. Miracle. Hallelujah. Miracle. Somebody say miracle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm shot. I'm I said to Why are you saying that, Elder? Because Peter, he followed the angel into a miracle. Hallelujah. So tell somebody, miracle. Say, yeah, that's where I'm going. The place that I'm going is to a miracle that's been designed for me. A miracle that God has my name on it. Hallelujah. Sha. And he says that Peter begin to follow him. Hallelujah. He began to follow the angel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh yeah. He began to follow the angel. Not knowing. Not with a full understanding that what was happening was real. But he was following him. I don't know whether it's real or not. He said, follow him. I don't know whether it's real. It might be real. I might be in a vision. I don't know, but I'm going to follow him. And he followed him. He followed him. And he went out and followed him and wist not that it was true, which was done by the angel, but thought he saw a vision. But when they were past the first and second ward, hallelujah, they came unto the iron gate that leaded unto the city, which opened to him of its own accord. And they went out and passed on through one street and forthwith the angel departed. Angel departed because he had done brought him out. Now, Peter is out of 
the prison. He's out of the prison. Now, I don't know where God needs to bring you from. But I wrote a couple of things. I don't know where you might be. But God's getting ready to lead you out of your prison. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody say, I'm coming out. Hallelujah. I'm coming out of my prison. Hallelujah. My brother talked the other night about the prison, his prison that the Lord delivered him from. And that was depression. Hallelujah. So somebody getting ready to come out of the prison of depression. Let me just read it for you. The prison of depression. The prison of oppression. The prison of lack and poverty. The prison of traditional carrying ons in the church. Hallelujah. The prison of stagnation. The prison of discouragement. The prison of deception. The prison of darkness. And the prison of boredom. That's why some of us don't have a praise because we bored. Shut. Church ain't what it used to be. Hallelujah. 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 We used to come in. Hallelujah. And the, and the singers, of, they, they weren't called praise and worship. They, they were called devotionally. And they would come in and be leading devotion. And you would come in and hear them singing at the door. And you was glad when they said unto you, Come into the house of the Lord. But now you got bored. You done saw everybody. They done heard those songs. They done, they done seen y'all saying, I'm bored. Oh, they done heard the music. Hallelujah. They done heard that scripture before. Hallelujah. But God is a living God. You got to keep yourself alive unto God. It is your responsibility to keep those things stirred in you. I don't care how many times I hear the song. Ain't it talking about God? Ain't it talking about Jesus? Isn't that my Savior? I don't care how many times I hear the same scripture. It's still the word of the Lord. And that same scripture still got life. It's producing life. Hallelujah. And you can hear it again and it'll produce life. Hallelujah. So tell somebody, get ready. To come on out. Get ready. To come on out. Hallelujah. Now, on your way out, on your way out, you got to keep Peter's attitude. Because I would imagine if the scripture opened up in prison, in the prison part of it, without him being asleep, it just happened to open up that part when Peter was asleep. Now, I have to imagine if the man could sleep between the two soldiers, if he could sleep, that if his eyes was open, if he was conscious, what would he have been doing? If he could sleep, what would he have been doing when he was awake? Let me tell you, he would have been singing, shouting, kicking his legs. I don't know whether they were chained or not, but he would have, would have been giving God the praise, giving God the glory. He would have been honoring the God of his salvation. He might have been saying, Lord, if you bring me out, I appreciate it. But if you don't, I'm going to love you. I'm going to worship you anyway. So let me tell you, saints, you're coming out. So why don't you come out with a praise? Why don't you come out with some hand raised? Why don't you come out with some hand claps? 
why don't you come out with a flag? Why don't you come out? Why? Why? Why don't you come out and let the world know that I'm a child of God? Hallelujah. You're not like everybody else. You are different. You are the anointed of God. So why you can't come out in your anointed? Why you can't come out in your dance? Why you can't come out? Hallelujah. Giving God the praise. Hallelujah. 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 Tell somebody, get ready to come out. Yeah. Shake yourself up. Change your heart and mind. Change your attitude. Know that victory belongs to you. Hallelujah. I can imagine. Hallelujah. Like Paul and Silas. Hallelujah. The Lord shook and opened that prison. It's going to shake and open yours. Hallelujah. You coming out? You coming out? <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You coming out with the victory in Jesus name. So in my closing, don't stop. But what you are about to see. Let me just warn you right now. What you're getting ready to see is real. Hallelujah. What you're getting ready to see is real. Hallelujah. You're only getting ready to see what has been stored up for you. Because we as humans, we think backwards according to the scripture. We think the most real things are stuff we see. The Bible says the most real things are stuff you can't see. The most thing that is real before any of this existed, the unseen kingdom of God existed with angels and rulers in authority. Nobody could see. It wasn't visible. But it is real. So what I'm telling you is that you're only getting ready to see what God has already designed and planned for you. You're getting ready to see the expression, hallelujah, of those things that are unseen. They're getting ready to express. Hallelujah. Somebody ought to shout right there. It's getting ready to express. It's getting ready to express. Hallelujah. You're getting ready now to touch it. You're getting ready now to walk in it. Hallelujah. Because his glory is getting ready to hit this earth. Hallelujah. So now sickness and disease won't be able to stand in the presence of the glory of God. You're getting ready to have authority in the earth. Power in the earth. Hallelujah. Ruling in the earth. Hallelujah. You're getting ready to live where you want to live. Y'all see? Let, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm 60 years old and I got, I was filled with the Holy Ghost when I was 15. Y'all add up the years. I've been here for a long time. Hallelujah. I've just been waiting, Lord, you know. Hallelujah. He's been holding things together. He's been blessing me. But this blessing that's about to get ready to hit the earth, I'm telling y'all, you're going to see it. You're going to see it. Hallelujah. And God had been telling me, he'd been telling me, and he'd been talking to me for for. for Three or four years. But I couldn't say nothing. 
I believe that I was kind of up and down the pandemic hit. Kind of turned my, my fire down a little bit. But ain't no fire starter like the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Don't worry about losing temperature. Hallelujah. Now I want you to understand that what I'm saying to you is something that I couldn't say to you. When I'm telling you you're going to see it, it means that I'm like, uh, brother, Abraham, I'm convinced. The reason I'm telling you is that I am now convinced. I thought I knew, but now I know. You're getting ready to see it. My shot. In the name of Jesus, you're getting ready. You're getting ready to see it. Sister Geraldine, come on up here. Because you're getting ready to see what you haven't seen before. You can stand right there. Hallelujah. It's getting ready to work for you. Hallelujah. It's getting ready to work in your favor. Not only has he been turning your mind around, but he's turning your mind around so that he can fill it and fill your hands. In the name of Jesus, you are the blesser. It's going to another level. Hallelujah. It's going to another level. Everything you've been expressing is going to another level. Everybody that you touch is going to another level. Shama. Hallelujah. 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 When I looked over at the brown section, I don't know what's going on. But when I looked in your direction, I felt an anointing. Hallelujah. That means God is stirring something in the house. And it's going to work out in your favor. Hallelujah. Brown family, if you can just give God a praise and solidify the promises. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Work it out. Work it out. In the name of Jesus. Yay! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you want something new and different, if you want another experience, if you want it, if you begin to believe, God's going to do it. Hallelujah. 
frustration. Hallelujah. He want to let you see all the stuff that he doing. Hallelujah. But if you can set your eyes on Jesus, hallelujah, and plant your feet, God is going to deliver. He got power and authority to break yokes. He got power to speak to folk that you can't speak to, folk that won't listen to you. He can talk to them and they got to hear. They got to hear. I need you to write it down. Put it on your refrigerator. Put it on your mirror. Hallelujah. You know what I'm talking about. Write it down. Every time you pass by, you'll see it. And it'll be a sign to you that this is where I'm coming into it. I'm coming into it. I'm coming into it. I'm walking into it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Coming into it. Hallelujah. 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 Let me just touch them healing hands, mama. Them hands are still full of healing. Shout, karo, osama. If you touch him, God gonna heal him. He gonna heal. You have the experience. Hallelujah. You seen it happen. And he ain't done yet. Hallelujah. Lance said Friday night, if he's still speaking, hallelujah, he ain't done yet. Hallelujah. So keep on in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Get ready to close out. You getting ready to close out? Before we close out, anybody here that desire a spiritual gift. Desire a spiritual gift. If you desire a spiritual gift, hallelujah. Some of y'all got the gift of tongues. Some of you may have the gift of interpretation. But if you don't know and, you, and you're desiring a gift or you want that gift to be restored, 
I want y'all to come right in here. Come right up in here. Come right up in here. Come right up in here. Hallelujah. Not only that, but God will add to your gift. Hallelujah. I, I know you got gifts going on, but I believe you're going to add to those gifts. Hallelujah. The Bible says if you desire, hallelujah, to seek the best gift. Father, in the name of Jesus, these are your servants. Pour out on them according to your spirit. You decide who gets what. Let it become aware to them. Let them become aware of what you have poured in them through the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And begin to use their gift. Begin to express it in the earth realm. Some of you are already going forth in gifts. God is going to increase it and he's going to add to it. Hallelujah. He's going to increase it and he's going to add to those gifts. Can you just begin to clap your hands to solidify? Lord, I thank you for my gift. I'm going to use it. I'm going to bless the body of Christ. It ain't for you. It's for the body of Christ. Shut Glory to you. Hallelujah. He's going to let you bless the body of Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may be seated. Hallelujah. 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 Call your lost. Hallelujah. 
Your name is awesome. Awesome you are, and awesome you will be. I call you awesome. Your name is awesome. Awesome you are, and awesome you'll be. Oh, yeah, yeah. We ought to give God a hand praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Awesome God. Who alone is worthy of all the praise. Of all the glory and the honor belongs to him. Jesus' name. Let us prepare ourselves to take the Lord's Supper. We're going to ask everyone to stand at this time as we prepare for our communion in Jesus' name. If you do not have your increments, please raise your hand if you need bread and wine. body that represents his body that was broken for you and I and as he gave thanks he said take and eat for this is my body which was broken for you thank you taken the cup say this is the new testament in my blood as often as you eat and drink it you do show my death till you come let us take it drink. hallelujah 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 the Lord has signed your name with his own blood. Hallelujah. Gave you victory. Hallelujah. Over the power of sin and the power of darkness. And said to you and I by his stripes, we are healed. We are made whole. We are made complete in him. Let's give God a praise. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Call you here. Your name is You are healer to me. Hallelujah. What a word, what a word, what a word. Amen. What a word, what a word, what a word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If I can say like uh, T.D. Jakes, I would say just tell you, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Hallelujah. To see 
what God is about to do. At this time, we thank you. Amen. And we're going to ask everyone to stand with your offering. We thank you for all that you've given of all that you do for community church. There's four ways to give. You can come here in person while Bishop is here and give. You can even do it by mail. You can do it by online. And it's on the screen at this time. And it's also, you can do it by cash app. But those that are here, how if you would raise your offering in your hand, in your right hand, in the name of Jesus, as we bless it in the name of Jesus. Most gracious God, our Father, we thank you for your word, oh God, word of power and anointing this day. Father, we glorify you right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask you to bless the gift and the giver, 30, 60, even 100 fold. God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. And we give you glory yes. in Jesus' name. Yes. Now come bring your offering to the yes. altar in Jesus' yes. name. Yes, 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 oh, oh, I call you for your name is called. We thank you once again for joining us this day. We hope that you are blessed by the word of God. We know that you are blessed. Hallelujah. And we thank God for our elder Williams for bringing forth the word and letting God use him today in the name of the Lord. We thank God for him in Jesus' name. Now as we dismiss in the name of Jesus, now make the grace of God and the sweet communion of his Holy Spirit Rest, rule, and abide now and forevermore in Jesus' name. Now may God bless you. May heaven smile upon you in Jesus' name. Walk with the king in Jesus' name.